Then making some convincing gains. I kind of wish we uh, did lift it side by side. That was our idea in the beginning, but um, kind of separated and new to part. Uh, Mr. Shrugs over here. The same guy who uh, stole some weights off my leg press. Which is understandable. There's a shortage of weights. Same time, not understandable because. Some of the working, you can ask always. Um, this is the first serious deadlift session after uh, I had a conversation with David looking at my previous heavy deadlift session. Luckily, this landed on my uh, deload week. I haven't had a real deload week in about, I want to say, four months. But uh, I started looking at. Uh, at the uh, D-Lo then I think I'm gonna implement them every uh, two months or at least seven weeks uh, that's after every two cycles of 531 um, for Vin uh, he definitely did improve quite a bit he's already moving up quite a bit in weight already I think it's actually high, a lot higher than uh, what he started out with when I first met him. Um, he has a lot better form. Uh, he's slowing it down a little bit, con controlling like a deadlift. Hopefully, my form a little better. Um, Dave and I talked about kind of uh, having the shoulders right over the bar, uh, which I kind of tried to do. Kind of sit back a little bit more, have the bar in front of it a little bit more. Um, that being said, we're doing a lot with a lighter weight, so we'll see what it comes out with the heavier weight. Um, yeah. We didn't want to go heavy today, I think. Uh, both of us, yeah. we have our own reasons to be tired, but uh, Vin definitely beasted the mode out of doubt. And then, um, doing quite a bit. Uh, one thing Vin and I talked about is belt positioning. He has a belt really low and really loose. I guess he likes to lose. But uh, I told him if he should be using his belt, he should be using a little higher and a little tighter. Um, and he did bring up a good point. He does use a belt as more of a cue rather than um, keeping him uh, extra tight per se. As for myself, I think I try to concentrate on keeping that shoulder above the bar instead of over the bar, past, past the bar rather. Um, this actually got me back into the groove that I used to have for deadlifts. I think I used to have a way better form. And I kind of know that because I started scraping against my shins again. And um, it felt okay. I'm sure once I start lift lifting heavier weights, and then I'm gonna implement the belt also. I think I'm gonna feel a lot better. And then it's the first time, also, maybe the second time, but uh, the lifting with those power shoes. And man, uh, th they were some, there was a channel on YouTube thing they were um, just a fancy Chuck Taylor and they, they kind of are but a uh, lot more um, lateral support definitely I, I could feel a lot more try to spread the feet apart a lot better and I actually hold on um, the other shoe that I actually wear used to wear with the uh, CrossFit Nano 2.0 I believe and compared to the 2.0 this shoe definitely grips better. I, I could feel a lot more stable. A lot more implanted to the floor. Now, is it a placebo effect? Maybe. 
I mean, all that's important that it, it works, right? <laughs> I've been doing a little rose after. Um, pretty tight and good form. And talking about keeping it tight, he, uh, he's gonna keep it extra tight for us. After my regular deload deadlift, I still kind of want the volume up there, but I guess I just did whatever I used to do on deadlift. Use the lowest weight and then do deficits on top of two plates. <sighs> Looking at this, it looks a lot better form than the regular deadlift. Now, now, when I was actually deadlifting though, it felt a lot more like a squat. My hips were really low. I don't know, but looking at it from the side, if I wasn't, say, elevated, it looks like a better deadlift form to me. Um, maybe I just have really short legs and I should get longer legs. I mean, that's kind of true, though. My, my torso is very long compared to... Uh, rest of my limbs but I mean that's no excuse I gotta adjust for that um, otherwise I did uh, concentrate on again keeping that shoulder on top of the bar rather than past the bar and yeah it, it felt good I'll just have to see how this transfer over to uh, once I get back into the real weights. Really love the shoes though. Um, how they definitely they give me a better grip. One thing though is, or well, one advantage and disadvantage is there are a lot of laces. So you get it extra tight, so tight, which is good. Um, it just takes forever to do the laces up. But I mean, that's just you know complaining about the little minor things. But uh, definitely the shoe I uh, highly recommend. Um, I might just use it for deadlift days. Um, one thing, one problem I did run into is, uh, on my deadlift today, I also do some uh, cleans. These shoes are not great for cleans at all. I like the CrossFit Nanos better. Um, that being said, I could see that these shoes being excellent for deadlifts, and if I were to ever do low bar squats, I think these shoes would be excellent too. Um, I did do the high bar squats with these yesterday. And they were awful. Uh, most problem coming from the ankle support, kind of getting my ankle, weighing the weight, ankle mobility. Just finishing it up here. Um, I ended up using pretty lightweight, trying to get uh, the form down again. Since I'm a deload week, I might as well concentrate on the deload. Uh, this week, I've been getting up at four in the morning every every day. Cause I gotta teach a bunch of classes, but uh, part of life. I'm by the time I show up to the gym, I'm pretty exhausted, and, and I'm glad this deload week came at the same time. Um, this kind of work schedule worked out to be. Uh, right now it's like nine o'clock, and I'm. 
I really want to pass out really bad. I did get a pretty good explosiveness on these. Um, but yeah, overall, great workout. Uh, last time I had a dealer, I felt shitty, real shitty, but this workout, I felt great. A lot of energy by the end of it. Didn't feel too exhausted. Kind of uh, migraines, but that's fine. Finishing up. Uh, oh, my kickball season starts for actually. On, I got. I won two teams this season. Starts tomorrow, so we'll see how that comes with. Uh, gets along with training and the work schedule I have so far. Anyways, I'm gonna go pass out. Peace out.